Hi, and here again from Andreax, and the video that I'm going to be looking at right now is um, about Bigfoot, which is something I, I do want to believe in terribly. I, I, I think I believe in it. Um, I live in the Pacific Northwest, and uh, I just kind of really love the idea of a Bigfoot out there somewhere, wandering around a whole family of them, um, and somehow staying off the grid enough that we're not disturbing them too much. So... Anyway, um, let's get started. This one, again, is from Amazing Top 10, and I love their channel, so again, that's going to be down in the description. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and get started. Look at where we have come back to. It doesn't matter how hard we look for this hairy hidden monster, we will never Coming to this conclusion. Oh dear, we're doing all kinds of goofy things, aren't we? Look at where we have come back to. It doesn't matter how hard we look for this hairy hidden monster, we will never find him. He is the hide and seek champion of the world and I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. I mean, that doesn't stop people from dedicating huge chunks of their lives to finding where this dude is hidden. And some of these people, even though they have never caught him, they might have caught him on camera or have an amazing story to tell. And I've gone through the internet to bring you some of the best tales and footage and photos that I could find. Hello, most amazing top 10 family. I'm your host, Che Dorena, and for today's list, we are going to be counting down the top 10 scary Bigfoot encounters. As always, I would love it if you guys could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Also, stick around for the whole list because I'm going to be doing some more pet shoutouts, which you guys love so much. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. And without taking any longer, let's get into this list. Coming in at number 10, we have the Marble Mountain Bigfoot. This is one of the most famous Bigfoot videos of all time. It was taken when a team of Bigfoot hunters went in search for the mysterious beast, and they might have got what they were looking for. Let's have a look at this clip. See the patch of snow in the middle there? There's three patches of snow up there. Uh -huh. See the one right up, straight up above the patch of snow. Right under that big one. I mean, shaky camera footage and Bigfoot go together like peanut butter and jelly. You know there's even a rumor that Bigfoot has the ability to distort cameras, and that's why no one has been able to get a good shot of him. But looking at this footage, it's very hard to tell what we are looking at. That could be a guy walking around on his own enjoying the wilderness, but at the same time, he is so far out in the bush. It would be very strange for someone to be that deep into the woods without any supplies because it's very clear in this video that they have no sort of backpack or survival bag and no survivalist would leave their supplies just lying around while they're scoping out the area. Maybe this was a Sasquatch just hanging out on his own. I kind of feel like I see very, very skinny legs. So let's look at that. Um, see if we can get... So yeah, I see very skinny legs right through here. Um, and a lot going on up the top so it could be that they are wearing um, a backpack with a waterproof big jacket over it because um, it, it does look like it's overcast maybe they don't want their supplies or their backpack to get wet or soiled in any way so they they threw a big jacket over the backpack that they're wearing underneath it and I would assume a Bigfoot um, just based on their muscle mass, that those legs would not look anything like that. So I'm going to have to say my opinion, that one, probably not a Bigfoot, but let's see. Hanging out on his own. Coming in at number nine, we have the Sasquatch Genome Project. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Sasquatch Genome Project. I have not. But it's a group of dudes who want nothing more than to find Bigfoot and study him. And honestly, they all look like cool dudes. They were on the news in Texas, and all of them have like mullets and ponytails. I bet beyond tips on how to find Sasquatch, they can also give you great tips on what products to use in your hair. But all the jokes <laughs> aside, these guys probably have the best footage of Bigfoot. I ever. had a mullet Here's in the some day. Of the clips that were able to work their way onto the local news. Use clip two. Seen short video clips of the legendary and very shy creature. The group spent five years and $500,000 coming to this conclusion. One clip is of... I mean, those all look pretty convincing. We just need to find a way to get a clear shot of this guy. Also, it's great to know that there's a group of people out there that you can join right now that can help you in your efforts to find Bigfoot. When I was a little kid and people asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, a Bigfoot hunter was never an option. 
Coming in at number eight, we have Sasquatch in Virginia. Take me home, country roads is what this big old Sasquatch was thinking when he came out and was spotted by these two dudes. This next clip was from a news station in Virginia. The footage was taken mm -hmm. by a father and son on a camping trip. Honestly, that is the most... Okay. You don't want to have your, like, your camping trip interrupted by Bigfoot. That would be disturbing. Wholesome way you could ever run into Bigfoot. You and your dad are like, look, it's a Bigfoot. I can't believe we're seeing this together right now, but let's get out of here before this thing kills us. All right. and this was shot apparently near the Intracoastal Waterway earlier this month. I don't see why these guys would lie about... So there are those still pictures? Oh, I wish I had a zoom in of it. But yeah, those look like two still month. pictures. I don't see why these guys would lie or one picture like zoomed this, in. But they did say that the same thing happened to them 25 years ago. Which makes me think that either these guys are the two luckiest dudes in the world, or they're faking it. It's seeing Bigfoot twice in one lifetime is like getting hit by lightning 23 times. Coming in at number seven, we have He's Still Around. If any of you had thought that Sasquatch had moved on to bigger and better things, or that if he was real, he had probably gone extinct by now, well, I'll let you know that this picture was posted in January of 2020. This was posted oh. on Twitter by the Washington State Department of Transportation. It was picked up by one of their roadside at cameras and if you look closely you can see something right next to that tree that looks like a man walking in the snow now the argument for this one has been that this is just a guy going for a hike now it could be that but i don't know a lot of people that would walk through the snow next to the highway i mean that's a good way to get lost and freeze to death coming well i think you'd get more lost not walking by the highway but I can see your point. And at number six, we have Finding Bigfoot. This encounter got a ton of press. A guy in Michigan had a series of cameras set up on his massive property, and he picked up something very strange. The clip I'm going to show you is when the news covered it. Back then, we couldn't show it. Now, we can. A dark, hulking image amongst the trees that appeared in one frame. And, and the popularity of this picture didn't stop there. It brought in people from the Animal Planet show Finding Bigfoot. They came down to investigate. Oh, nice. They claimed that because of the location of the property, there could be a whole family of Bigfoot living out there. And when the Finding Bigfoot crew went through, they were unable to find hard evidence as to whether or not there was actually a Bigfoot on this man's property. But I feel like that's what Bigfoot is best at. He pops in for a few seconds, he makes you think that you're gonna find him, and then you come up empty-handed. I have to say, I'm going to have to find that show because, yeah, that sounds like fun. Coming in at number five, we have the Provo Canyon Encounter. Okay, okay so I will Utah. Admit it. This one freaked me out a I little think. bit. I don't know where I stand on Bigfoot. Like, maybe he's real. There's a time when people thought pandas were a myth, and the people who had said that they had seen one were laughed out of town. So we could have the same thing happening with Bigfoot. But whether you're a believer or not, this video might leave you with a few questions. So it's right in the center. Cool. Oh, that did look pretty legit. We don't get a 100% get very big. clear shot, so maybe it was the real thing. The only thing I don't understand is why these guys are running towards it. Like, sure, you want to make the discovery <laughs> of a lifetime. You want to change the world and reveal that you found the missing link. But I would like to think I was one of the people that would run towards it. But uh, yeah, I'm getting old. I get more scaredy pants now in my old age. But yeah. I respect the ones that can run towards it. At the same time, you don't want to end up beaten to a bloody pulp by a mythical beast. But it wouldn't be Coming mythical anymore. Four, we have the Paul Freeman footage. This is some of the most famous Bigfoot footage among oh. Bigfoot truthers. Now, I got to let you guys know that this clip is pulled from 1994, so this video is not going to be in 4K. The whole video is about seven minutes long, and it's Paul Freeman scaling out some Bigfoot tracks, showing how long their strides are and how big the footprints are. And then he sees this walking through the bush. Use clip eight. Oh, there he goes. Now this is just a peek at what Freeman saw that day. He goes on to follow those mm -hmm. Sasquatch for about three minutes, and later you can see that there are two smaller Sasquatches along with the large one. It's thought that this is a mother with her two little ones. Now it is kind of convenient that he was mapping out Bigfoot tracks and then runs into a Bigfoot, but people in the Bigfoot community say that this video is legit. 
Coming in at number three, we have Bigfoot in Russia. Man, Bigfoot is getting around to more countries than me, and this dude doesn't even have a passport. <laughs> this footage was taken by a few kids that were walking around the frozen wilderness in Russia. They came across something that looked like giant footprints. It looked like someone was walking through and they sloshed around in the snow to make all their tracks look bigger. The kids were very curious, so they followed them and guess what they found? Well, you don't have to guess, I'm going to show you. Use clip five. And darts away. After they see the beast, they turn tail and run. And as I said, in a <laughs> yeah, little point, kids could be a meal. So yeah, right. and when they got home, they showed their parents. The clip became so popular that National Geographic went to go investigate. Coming in at number two, we have the Algony camera trap. When people talk about Bigfoot, I always think, why don't they just set up a camera trap so they can get pictures of the big lug and then that'll be that. Well, it turns out that someone has actually done this. It was a photographer by the name of Rick Jacobs. He went up to the Algony National mm -hmm. Forest, which is quite a trek north of Pittsburgh, and he set up some cameras to get some amazing nature footage. Well, he got something natural as well as something mythical. That photo, along with several others, were sent to the Denver Post to publish as proof I have to say, I've never seen a Bigfoot photo on like all fours before. I have seen like bears with mange, um, but this doesn't appear to have mangy hair, um, but a lot, a very much of the same shape. Uh, huh. Yeah, I have to say that's the first time I've seen a Bigfoot photo like that, which kind of makes me feel like it's an authentic photo, whether it's Bigfoot or not, I don't know, but um, everybody always, I think if you're going to fake a Bigfoot photo, you're going to make them standing up. So, huh, whatever it is, um, it does look very authentic. Um, can't be 100% sure it's a Bigfoot, but uh, it definitely has a lot of primate kind of uh, stance to it, like a chimpanzee almost in the way it looks like it's walking away on all fours. Proof of Bigfoot. The bummer is that we don't get to see his face, but I do have to say that this creature, whatever it is, doesn't look like a bear or something I've seen walking mm -hmm. around in the woods. Its hair is too short. It exactly. definitely looks more like a primate. Mm -hmm. And coming in for the number one spot, we have Surprise. Bigfoot? I really could title any of these Surprise. I don't think anyone has ever seen a Bigfoot and was like, oh, that's a regular creature that <laughs> I've seen so many times before. Yeah. I'm not shocked at all. But this guy in this next clip was just out hunting. He owns a big property in Mississippi, and while mm -hmm. he was out looking for boar, he ran into this. Wow. The deeper and deeper I get into this, the more I become a believer. Now, in the description of this video, the person who posted it calls whatever this is a skunk ape, which is basically a southern Bigfoot. And this might be it. This has to be the most. Now, I think a skunk ape is like Bigfoot, but I think not as tall. I could, I could be wrong, but I think a skunk ape is a slightly smaller version of Bigfoot. But it definitely looks, looks, definitely looks like a primate. We come back here to the photo, the picture. Um, yeah, it looks like their arm is, oops, sorry. The deeper and arm deeper is I up get into this, the more it Into the tree. Um, yeah, I definitely would say that's primate of some sort, absolutely. Um, and I, I listened to a podcast, um, the Cryptid, Cryptonauts cryptonauts podcast and they talk about different types of uh, bigfoot in some of their episodes and i highly recommend their podcast i absolutely love them um but yeah uh, definitely um i would say a skunk ape would be more like a cousin to the bigfoot 
become a believer. Now, in the description of this video, the person who posted Close it cousin. calls whatever this is a skunk ape, which is basically mm -hmm. a southern Bigfoot. And this might be it. This has to be the most convincing video I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone, that has been our list. And as promised, I'm going to be doing some more pet shout outs. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. Aww, pet. I pick new pets every day. So if you don't get picked one day, you can message back another day. I usually pick who messaged most recently. So if you don't get picked, you can message again and again and again and again. If you want, uh, if it takes me a little while to get back to you, I am very sorry. I have a lot of these to do, and without taking any longer, let's get into this list. First up, we have Bimo, and this dog Aww. is named after one of the best characters on Adventure Time, which is awesome. After that, we have McKinsey, who is one of the oh, cutest my gosh, those ears and eyes are love adorable. This dog. After that, we have two doggos who are best friends. We have Buster and Maggie. Next, Aww. we have Twinkie, who's got a big old floppy face. I love it. Oh. All right, everyone, that is all we have for you today. They're all As doggies. As always, I would love it if you could oh, like, comment, subscribe, great. and hit the little notification. Okay, so please go to their website. And again, always subscribe to them, watch their videos, give them all the love. This is a, um, one of my favorite channels. And um, while you're down there um, and hitting their link, please you know bump that like button and then smack the subscribe button for me. And it's been a lot of fun today. And um, please uh, comment and put in any other uh, videos you think I should be reacting to. And I'm going to make a concerted effort to make sure that I put all my videos and playlists so that when I have, I don't have all the paranormal videos and what I'll have the paranormal videos in one, maybe Bigfoot or cryptids in another and um, maybe music reactions or different types of reactions in different playlists. That way, if you're really only interested in one particular kind of subject that you can go there. So thank you very much and have a great day. And I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.